on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Stupid horn. So this guy Alex found a program that will allow you to tune the hawk DLX. So that's what we're going to try to do. He's going to walk me through it. Thanks, Alex. Let's see what's up with that. This stupid. It's like a digital horn on here. Every time it rains. I even put this. What the heck? See? Where's the water getting in? I don't get it. I have to deal with it. I got, got some cleaning up to do around here. Man, that is annoying. What the hell? Ready to get the sledgehammer, boys. It's supposed to be waterproof. Oh, great. Wow. I need a big garage. A hundred by a hundred. I guess I'll work in here for now. Out of the sun. What in the world? What the hell? I'm gonna have to take that apart. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. If it was a mechanical horn, I wouldn't be doing that garbage. Oh, still has power. Look at this dirty girl. Maybe I should do it over there in the shade. So I can get some breeze. Here it goes. There it is again. Oh my god. I gotta deal with that. I've never seen anything like it. Why is this getting all wet? Oh, right there, huh? Well, I'll let that dry out. I guess I'll put some silicone around it. It's even got corrosion starting. I probably should get another switch. There's the port. Oh, I gotta pop all them out of there. Thanks, Alex, for figuring this out. Put them in this little pocket. What the heck? That's not the right one. Oh, my name is Vin Cheezel. I'm silly. <laughs> Put these all back in. Do as I say, not as I do. That's why. I'll put that plug in there. That fits. Turn the headlights off. Power on. See if I broke my laptop. Alright. It's called HUD ECU Hacker. I have version 4.6. For the tune you call here, the two patches that I send you, yeah. put them in there. Once you get them, you know, you copy and you paste them or drag them, whatever you want to do. You put them in there, you could close out of that page. Alright, you got you sent me a patch. Oh, you yeah, sent me the one and two and two. You could try them both, but I would say your best result, best running condition is the number two. Number two? Alright, let me just go to that yep. one. I put the patch in there. Tune 2.0. Now you can close out of there. Now do you still have open uh, the hood hacker? Uh, it should be. Yep, it's here. Close it and reopen it. Okay. Alright. Okay, so now download 
your entire flash memory. You see on the right on the right screen on top it says MT apply flash. And before you do that, on the left side it should say Delphi or Delphi. Wrong GMAO MT05 XML. So you have to have it on that uh, uh, where it says parameter file. Does it say Delphi? I have to say Delphi plus uh -huh. GMAO. Okay, so now you go all the way to the right, straight out to the right, it says download entire flash. Select the com. At the com. bottom. It now it says, oh, I have to select the com port again. <laughs> I forgot. Alright. Uh, there we go, it's downloading. Okay, now your, your, your fuel pump is going to prime once it's done. When you hear the your fuel pump prime, it means the download is already done. Alright. You see where the third option under the download entire flash memory, it says upload calibration area only. Yeah. When you're done with the base tune, you're going to click on that box, or that, on the third one. Okay. And that's going to allow you to choose which one you're going to do, and that's where my patch of 2.0 comes in. I'm recording you right now. Yep. <laughs> All right. No problem. If you're explaining it, I don't have to go over it again. There's a fuel pump. That means you're done. All right, so now I do upload calibration area only, and yes, then it opens up a box for MTO flash memory bin. Yes. Patch. And then patch file. Click on it and it should show you the tune option. Uh, oh yeah, two. I see it. Tune 2.0. Yep. And then upload. And, and then upload. It's less than 30 seconds, and you're done with the whole process. It's that simple. Once you have the program installed uh, and you have the flash memory, that's it. It's, oh, it's a uh, deaf. It said you wanted to donate money and then it shut me down. Um, are you willing it to? It shut you down. It says, "Are you willing to donate twenty dollars?" And then I it I passed it. Okay. So you have to start all all over again. The I am, but it, is the same. it keeps shutting me off now. What the hell? Are you not willing to donate? You're not allowed to use the software, but there's no I way. I forgot to mention that series. So, no, so don't, don't sweat it. it. It's very easy to fix it. Delete the program and reinstall it. Yeah, but I got to uninstall it first, right? I can't just install no. over it? No, you can install over it. Oh, I can. All right. It wasn't easy to figure it out on my own. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm glad you helped me out. It seems complicated the first time, but once you once you do it the first time, you realize, oh, it wasn't such a big deal. But not knowing the first steps is the hard part. Right. All right, I'm back in. You gotta upload uh, the no, tune no, still. No. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. All right. Now that you opened it, go upload it and then go to the tuning tab on top. Okay. Once you in, you're gonna select your MTO5 flash bin on your upper left corner and you have the pull down menu all right. and you have several of them you gotta choose yours all right i'm in okay now on the menu the first line check click it and the second line what does it say i don't have any money i can't donate you have to that one don't click it and uh, then click the next two that come up i save a lot of money blah 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 and i have blah blah uh -huh. okay and then accept the terms or at the bottom, whatever it says. Auto deflection has found. And did the message go away? Yep. Now right. go back to control. Okay. That you, already un you already unlocked it. That was a hard part for me because it doesn't say choose multiple answers. All right. Okay. So now that you're back in control. Yep. I got my COM3, my 2, 2.0 is selected upload and upload. I support hacker by donation. It's, a, it's telling you that? It's saying it again. You're entering expert zone. So I'm putting I uh -huh. support the policy and I save a lot of money and then continue. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't have to do that. Maybe that changed in the past week or something. It's, op it's uploading. All right. It's less than 30 seconds. Yeah, it's going. Once you hear that you pump prime, you're good. Yeah. Oh, yes. There it is. It's uploaded. 
So now I'm good? You're done. Now you're tuned. All right. I'm going to have to... Turn it, turn, turn it on. Turn it on. You'll hear it. It sounds different. All right. Let me move. Let me unplug it and move my laptop. Hang on. I don't know if I got enough battery to jump. I'm going to put the phone down. Let's see. I had to help it with a little kickstart because I knew the battery was too low. These bikes don't like to run cold. The tune that you have on now, it runs at 10 volts. It's really, really rich. So if you take off, it will pop, crackle, do all kinds of weird stuff. Oh, when it's cold? Yeah. I get to grab my helmet and everything and we'll go for a test drive. Appreciate it, man. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a message or call you back when I'm done. Yeah, let me know what, what the difference is. So, but the difference is going to be when you are cornering and you get a gas to get out of the water, you're going to love it. It is going to be so torquey. It's going to be so and it will have more power on top of it. The revving it on is about 7 and a half pounds. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, man. Thanks, Alex. Hey. I guess we'll try it around the yard first. I think I need air in my front tire, too. Yeah, it's a little low. Probably good for the dirt, though. Let's try it around the yard. Better plug this back in before I forget. And I lose it. Definitely feels better. I'm grab my helmet. All right, Hawkey. Definitely got a little more snap. So I'll upload uh, Alex's tune. And I'll probably play around a little bit if I have some time. See, I learn a lot from you guys. <laughs> I hope I don't get stuck in the rain. Definitely better, Alex. Definitely better. I have to find an old zero to 60. I <laughs> still never put the bolts on that. speedometer thing ain't picking up. Look at them rims. <laughs> Damn it. The speedometer's not working. Let me check. Oh, I didn't do anything with this one. This isn't the one I put the speedometer sensor on. Silly. Well, that sucks. because it doesn't go through the computer. I don't have a phone mount or else I'd use my phone. They usually lag anyway. Definitely got some more torque. Yeah, I definitely need some air in them tires. It's silly for trying without it. I don't want to rip a tube. about eight pounds of air in there. It says I'm doing four miles an hour. I know that's wrong. I haven't had any time to play with the motorcycles while I was down. Definitely feel the difference. 
does sound better. It sounds different for sure, just like Alex said. Hard throttle is definitely better too. Nice thing about the rain is the sugar sand is going. It's packed. Wow, that was low. It was like 10 pounds. Because it always has about 8 pounds over while it's pumping. Oh yeah, that's about 25. What the heck is with my speedometer now? Hmm. Here's a connection. Good thing I didn't have that bolted down. It don't look corroded or anything. Oh, that one's coming out. Oh, wait a minute. That one broke. Hmm. I must have done this a long time ago. I must have pinched it, huh? Yeah, definitely. Look at that cheesy job. How can I call myself Vin Cheesel? Must have happened on a trail. Yeah, that's, that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. Hmm. wonder what that's pinching up against. It's a cheesy cob job. Let's see if it works now. Nope. No, it's not working at all. I guess we gotta fix that. Something chewed that up pretty good. I don't wanna ride, I don't wanna work on this. makes Vin Cheesel a dull cheesy and that's all I did down here was work nah I didn't I went out in a boat well speedometer's not working still definitely perhaps better one mile an hour yeah I knew it I knew it was too lean well boys, you're going to have to wait for my next trip unless I can fix this. Maybe it's pinched somewhere else. That double yellow line was slippery. Well, I guess that speedometer is not going to fix itself. So that was pretty easy to program that. Once you know what you're doing, like he said, he spent hours playing with it. That's what he said. We'll do a loop. Yeah, even part throttle. More responsive. Most definitely noticeably better. And Alex did tell me that he doesn't want to take all the credit because he read it on the board somewhere. I think Chinariders.net. I just I got so much stuff going on. I hardly ever get to do anything on that. But I knew there'd be a way eventually. We're gonna circle back. Better top end too, I can feel it. I think I got a bent rim. Yep, yep. Looks like it. So yeah, if you're looking for a little more performance out of your DLX, this is a must do. And the best part about it is, it's only about $40 worth of parts. The program is free. I still gotta shave this seat too. I like the low end torque it's got now. It's got a little better low end torque. Oh, are you kidding me? See that? Didn't have that much grunt before in fifth. 
am I at? Fourth? Sounds meaner. Alright, Hawkey. Thanks again, Alex. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.